Britain is home to many motoring destinations, most of them being racetracks or museums. But there's one place that has it all. Stunning scenery, epic roads, many of which with no speed limits at all. Decades of motorsport history surrounding it, and a racetrack and a museum. It is, of course, the Isle of Man. When Scenic Car Tours invited us on their festival of motoring trip to the island, I grabbed the keys to our Jaguar XKR and headed for the ferry. Join us for four days of petrol head heaven. But first, our friends at Lancaster Insurance are running monthly giveaways. You can win all sorts, from experience days to tools, restaurant vouchers and tech. So click the link below at the end of the video to enter their latest competition. Well hello everyone, you join us on the M20, very picturesque as you can tell, in our lovely 2003 Jaguar XKR and we're on our way to the Isle of Man. The Isle of Man somewhere I've always wanted to go and this trip is going to be amazing. Now I haven't really driven the XKR before and we've worked out we're going to be putting around 500 miles, maybe even a bit more on this trip, so it's an awfully long test drive for me and already I'm 20 miles in and I'm loving it. That said, in a 50 mile an hour average zone on the M20, we're not really getting the best out of it. So um, let's munch some motorway miles and we'll talk a bit more about this lovely Jag. So we've cleared the traffic of the M25, the sun has come out and we're now on the M40 and it is gorgeous. We've also done, if I check our trip here, over 100 miles in the XKR now since we set off from where I'm based in southern Kent. And I feel that's enough time now that I've got to know this car a bit and I am loving it. It's everything I love about our X350, the comfort, the lovely cabin that really, really makes you feel special with the added bonus of these stunning looks. I mean, this is a gorgeous looking thing and that's supercharging noise is just oh, it just feels great now this car has had some money spent on it since you last saw it we'll come on to that later but whatever it was it was worth every penny because this is just a lovely lovely car to cruise in it really does make you feel special i can think of no better vehicle to do this trip in so without further ado onwards oh. <laughs> The Jag continued to eat the miles in supercharged comfort, and with a few hours under our belts, we pulled over just north of Warwick for food and to chat a little bit more about what's happened to the XKR. When we first revealed the XKR to you, Phil pointed out quite a few problems with it. And to be honest, when you buy an aging luxury car, essentially sight unseen, we didn't really look through it before we bought it, you do come to expect that. So to make the car ready for this trip, we took it to a Jaguar specialist and let them do the work to it for us. They're giving us a receipt for all the work they've done and it is quite extensive. First thing they did was to modify the headrest drive cable, because you might remember the electric headrest for the driver's seat wasn't moving. It now is, that works perfectly, and it just got snagged. The next thing was to check why the windscreen washer wasn't working. We thought it might have been a fuse or it might have been the pump gun. It would come unplugged. Then they removed and freed off the front brakes because it was pulling to one side a little bit under brakes. We weren't quite sure if there was something up there, but they're all good. The front anti-roll bar bushes were a bit perished, so we've had both of those replaced to sharpen up the front end of the car a bit more. The front wheels were then balanced because now the car will cruise straight and true with no wheel wobble. Near side front lower ball joint replaced and a broken steering rack bolt drilled out and then replaced as well. They programmed a spare key fob for us and so now we've got two keys. That I can tell 
tell you was the best part of 300 quid. The exhaust downpipe was leaking, so I've had that welded up as well because it needed that to pass an MOT. There was that stuck aerial at the back, which is quite common for X100. The gears are jammed in it, plastic gears, which is quite common. Then someone had tried to force it down, bent the aerial mast. So we've had a whole new aerial mast assembly. We had the auxiliary belt and the supercharger belt replaced. It's just a good routine thing to do on these cars. It's had an oil change, it's had a coolant change and a brake fluid change. And with that, our sight unseen XKR is fighting fit, ready for this road trip. It didn't come cheap. That little list of stuff, as well as a full inspection of the car, came to over £2,000. Having bought this car essentially sight and seen, we've actually come off fairly lightly, I reckon. It's mechanically fighting fit, feels fantastic, and it's ready for this epic adventure. However, it is nearly six o'clock in the afternoon. We've been driving for about three hours so far today, and we're not actually at the hotel yet. So enough about the Jaguar, let's get some chicken. Suitably full, we pushed on to the hotel in Stafford as the sun set. Our first day had been 230 miles of motorway, and already I was in love with the big Jag. The cruise up to Haitian was effortless, and after fueling up with the cheapest petrol we could find, yes, really, I decided to work out what the Jag's fuel economy was. Well, so we bought 58.13 litres of petrol, which if you divide that by 4.54 is 12.8 gallons. Remember that at the back. So 12.8 gallons, and we've done 385 miles to get here. 385 divided by 12.8 gallons of petrol, equals 30.1 a genuine 30.1 there it is 30.1 miles to the gallon from a 400 horsepower supercharged 4.2 v8 what fuel crisis feeling smug we headed to the ferry port and immediately found some company hey two british gts both owned by ford and built at the same time it's a tenuous link but it works we headed to the waiting area to join the other cars on the tour and it was quite a sight. Eventually, we boarded the ferry and after a windy but uneventful crossing, were greeted by the Isle of Man itself. We disembarked with the flurry of sports cars and classics, cruised down the Douglas Promenade in the sunset and caused quite a stir in the hotel car park. So that's the end of part one of our Isle of Man adventure in the epic XKR. I'm already in love with this thing and this trip has just barely started. Now for the next few weeks there's going to be weekly parts of this trip and part two is going to be something very special. Here's a little teaser for you. I'll see you again soon. Subscribe for more of this awesomeness. Let's do this. Ten seconds in already. Wow, the most epic road I've ever seen. If you fancy your own Isle of Man adventure, then good news. We teamed up with our friends at Scenic Car Tours to bring you the Prestige and Performance Car Tour 2023. On the 18th to the 22nd of May, exclusively for Classics World viewers and Kelsey Magazine readers. It's the trip of a lifetime with experiences you can't buy. So head to www.sceniccartours.com forward slash Kelsey for full details and to book. See you there. This video is proudly sponsored by Lancaster Insurance. Give them a call on 01480 400 889 for an insurance quote on your classic car. And don't forget to click the link below to enter their latest competition.